Uh, thank you all again for coming. Uh, my name is Kojo Kuma. I'm one of the chapter leads for IGDA San Diego, and uh, we help put on this event. Uh, this is the third year we're doing the San Diego Game Jam. It's the second time we're doing it at Coleman. So again, let's give a hand to Coleman for hosting. And with that, I think uh, just ready to reveal the theme. So the theme. Can I get a drum roll? I'm sorry. The theme. 2016 San Diego Game Jam is <laughs> group thing. Group thing. Hey guys, I'm Corey. Um, our team is Team Rocket. Uh -huh. um, the point of our game is you control one person. Each person, four player game, controls one limb. And if you've ever seen that Japanese game show where you're trying to pose yourself to get through the little holes as the wall's coming towards you, that's basically the game. So each person has one limb. After each wall, it switches which limb you are controlling, and it gets faster and faster until you fail. Uh, we have two working title, titles, uh, either Vitruvian Man or Pools of Glory. Pools of Glory! <laughs> hey everybody, I'm Christian. This is Dave, this is Max. And our game, working title, is called Showdown Dual VR. So, the gist of it is a multiplayer VR experience, one versus one, mano a mano, you against the other person. So imagine a coliseum, there's a lot of people in the audience and it's only you against the other person with all the audience chanting for both of you. So the gist of the game is that in order to win, you need to shoot the other person. But the, other way, the only way to shoot them or kill them is by building a weapon. And the way, and then you need to actually build a weapon. So you're gonna have a table with your pieces and then you need to build a weapon and then shoot at the other person. So our working title for our game is Sink or Swim. It's a timed puzzle game that is in a top-down perspective. Basically, you are controlling multiple units that range from one to however many we're gonna make for this prototype that are all moving at the same time. So if you put an input command for like a left, all units will move left. And if you put a right, every unit will move right. And maybe an action button that makes an activate, depending on how many functions we can put into these characters. So the idea is that you basically have to solve the puzzle in one shot for every one of these units at the same time. We're doing a tabletop board game, um, multiplayer. Uh, all of the players are stranded on an island and you have to work in harmony to, um, to survive in the end. But the game plays against you and gives you personal motives that will sabotage the group. Hello everybody, our game is super cool. You're a ghost and you need to move human bodies to get to certain places, but you can't live without the human bodies or make it past the mission, so the group Goal. Looking for anybody on your team? No, not at all. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Vaughn, and our game is going to be called Cult for right now. And the basics of our game is we're going to influence people to do extraordinary things. The player assumes the role of a cult leader. We're going to interact with other groups to persuade them to join our cult, making it much more bigger. Uh, we're going to dispatch non believers in gruesome and hilarious ways. And the goal is to create a massive cult to appease our God. Uh, we are MMDS, and our game uh, is a 2.5D uh, platformer where you play as a personality, multiple personality disorder patient who is stuck inside of his mind. And so you have all these um, like different um, modes of game that you kind of switch, that switch around, like your controls and kind of the environment and the way you perceive things is different depending on which personality is dominant at the time. Uh, so that's like the group thing. Hey guys, I'm Josh. Uh, we're guys from the Art Institute. So our, our idea is to make an alien civilization god type management game, so kind of like Sim City. Um, and we're kind of going to pitch the idea with, like, you guys ever played Black and White? So, I know like, that uh, game. The, the, uh, so like the, the reward and then like the skull factor, like being able to uh, basically treat your troops the way you feel and then they'll react accordingly to that. So these are two ideas. Welcome to Last Man Standing. Last Man Standing, you help uh, a group of survivors pretty much recruit, survive, and thrive. Uh, the main mechanic of the game, how it works, is that you only get to control one of the survivors at the time. Once that survivor dies, what will end up happening is you'll take advantage of one of the other survivors. So uh, if one of them dies, you continue on to another one to sort of influence the group thinking on how you want to do it. So you get to do it from two perspectives. Perspective number one is from the character's perspective, where it's you, and also perspective number two, to try to gain the goals of the group. We have two games to pitch right now. Uh, the first one is 
war, pestilence, death, the, uh, the cries of a baby whose mother never knew them. Uh, we are going to make a game based off of you are a man who is completely made of flies, flesh-eating flies. You have to recruit more flies as you take damage, you lose flies. You are flies, buzzing, always buzzing. Okay, the second game is a, uh, um, you're an adventurer on a planet. You find a plant who, their life forms are kind of like plantish, kind of like beings. And because you are an alien, you have the power to control them and like, you know, direct them to do stuff. It's pretty much Pikmin. Um, and we'd like to do some <coughs> VR stuff, so because really good aspect ratio, uh, enclosed environments to, you know, direct our little guys. And it just, it looked really nice, and we think it'd be fun. Uh, this is Project Duck, uh, working for Project Tidal. Obviously, it's a pretty survivor objective game. Side scroller 3D, you play as four ducks, you switch between them. One can maybe shoot shotgun, and one can swim, fly. Um, you kiss one, one dies, you switch to the next one, and it's objective. Maybe you have to kill the mice, they have cheese, and you go on to the next level. You gotta steal their shit. You gotta steal their shit, you know? So that's our, that's our game. We're looking for like a rigger or a protection mapper. All right, so on the theme of group think, we thought of a simple space game. Um, it'll be a multiplayer game locally on one computer, five players, and then um, I wanna get the average distance between each player and the bigger that number is, the more powerful your beam will be to cut through the swarm that's approaching. Um, but the lower that number is, so the closer all the different ships are together, the faster your shield will recharge. So, yeah, that's, that's the plan. Okay, we also have a second pitch. So in the second pitch, you're fishing, you're a small fish in the ocean, you're with uh, like you know, a swarm of fish, that kind of- School of fish. School of fish, yeah, yeah. to survive. But in a school of fish, there's not a lot of food. So you need to go out. You need to go out out of the fish and try to survive. But there's a lot of danger in the ocean. So you need to go out, try to survive, get some food, and try to go back to yeah. safety. So it's a struggle between going out and exploring and coming back to the school where it's safe. We are in Team Tommy's room. Our game is called Ep Escape. It's a VR take on uh, tower defense. That's what I was told the okay. name was. Um, so basically, they, you have two groups, a red and a blue group, and they are trying to get from point A to point B. You will be assigned red or blue, and you need to cause chaos with various lures, uh, traps, and deterrents for the team that you are going against. Every person that crosses point B on your team, you get a point for, and every person that crosses point B on the other team, you lose a point. Everything you talk to follows you. <laughs> My name is Nick Gonzalez. Uh, I do a bunch of art and stuff. I usually don't do pixel art, but you know, for a game jam to kind of quickly do it, we did a bunch of pixel art and stuff. You can see dude's head exploded. It's pretty chill. It's pretty cool. My name is Ryan Malone, and uh, I'm creating scenes for Cult. So I've been learning to do level design for the team, and I've been making things such as this is a uh, playable zone, the player will spawn in and try and convince people to join their cult. Hey, how about you? And uh, yeah, yeah. I'm working on collision for such things, go up and talk to the barman. Right now I'm learning to animate so I can make this trombone slide move around, get it swinging about a bit. Uh, hey, my name's Tyler. Um, I am the 3D modeler for our team, Team Tommy's Room. Uh, we're pretty cool. Uh, we made a VR game that's all about towers, and you get to press buttons and shoot cool flamethrowers, and um, make people fall on spikes. So it's pretty cool. And it's in VR, so you get a little thing on, and you got your little hands. We're all sleep deprived, which is awesome. Amazing. We're. Uh, Running off of coffee and donuts, right. and but yet we're still having. I'm. I mean, I'm having so much fun. Like so, my name's Clayton. Right now, I'm working on sound for our game Rabble Rousers. Uh, it's about rioters and trying to keep them under control. So right now, I'm just working on programming some MIDI for the music, and uh, I worked out a scale to use, and that's kind of what I'm working from. And then just starting off the song, kind of coming up with the main theme. In our case, we're kind of doing like a game show type thing. So I started listening to like, you know, like The Price is Right and <laughs> those types of things because we're going with the kind of classic cheesy feel. Yeah. Hi, I'm Yang, and our uh, 
uh, game was Band Kids, where you play as a drum major and you collect your lost band members and you have to avoid obstacles like manholes and small children and horse poop. And as you get more people, you uh, get more points. <laughs> uh, I'm Yusuf Gauth. Uh, this is our, uh, this is, well, a uh, prototype for our game. Uh, our game is called The State. It is a game about spreading propaganda and taking over a nation. Um, essentially, you start out as one of, you start out with these three agents, and as you move them along, um, as you move along your right hand man, which is the only agent you control, the other two move randomly. Uh, and it's, once, but once you choose to act to try to take over a tile, uh, they all act simultaneously. So you have to position yourself in such a way where you gain more than you lose. Because if, if one of your agents is in a tough spot and you happen to activate, uh, then you could lose that agent. Hi, my name is Josh. Uh, I'm with Blink Studios. And right now we're working on a, uh, it's like a management type game, kind of like SimCity or Black and White. Um, Basically, you're going to have these troops that go out and execute uh, random tasks like collecting or uh, attacking other units, and then you can reward them or you can punish them for the stuff that they do, and then your civilization kind of develops around that. Who can build theirs fastest and then shoot the other guy? Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. When you try the green one, attaching it to the yellow one. With the, no, in the same, in the same socket. Oh. <laughs> try to use them in opposite directions. Uh, okay. There you go. Yeah. You're probably, yeah. You're it would have been would have been a three D side scroller. Uh, I mean, I think it would be two. More classes. Yes. No, 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 you can't. Is that custom music? Yeah. Yeah. I've been watching this. I'm gonna die. That. Do you have something It counts as a move. If you, if you, so if you try to go up and, it, and you go against the wall, it's still move. You're still moving. Also, if you collide with the other player, like if you force them into each other, you also lose. Just eat.